What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So before we get started, I want you guys to meet my little buddy Bam Bam here, which a lot of you know from Instagram. He's in my Instagram stories every morning looking at my breakfast. He's my buddy. He's about three years old and I got Minnie Mouse. Oh yeah. She's a good dog. Now, she will bite you. As soon as you walk on the door, she will bite you if you put your hand down, but then she'll lick you. So she just has to bite you to get to know you. So anyway, I hope you're doing super well today. I've been absolutely on a tear. This morning I got up, of course, 4.30, answer my DMs, go to the gym. I had a closing at 8.30. I had to meet my sign guy to move a big sign from one property to another at 9 o'clock. Then I showed five condos from 9.30 to 11. Then I came home for lunch and got caught up in all my emails and follow-up stuff, followed by a podcast I was on at 1.00 which was called Fearless Friday, which was about fears, how to overcome fears, the fears that I've encountered in my life, how I overcame them, and so on and so forth. It was a really good podcast. We got into all kinds of subjects. I'll put that on my podcast as soon as I get a copy of the audio. Then I had to work on several deals that I'm negotiating, kind of work out the details on that, and also a huge inspection repair list that we're trying to negotiate. So so got a lot going on, and thank goodness for that. And news alert, we're going in at 9.30 Tuesday night to the hospital to start being induced for the birth of Whitley next Wednesday. Yes! So, so excited about this. Um, just words can't describe where I'm at right now. And now we actually know what day uh, this is going to happen. So just overjoyed and ready for this new, new journey in my life. Also, I'm gearing up for 2020 for you. I'm gonna completely revamp the Zero to Diamond system. It's gonna be a new 90 day action plan that's actually gonna have the 28 day challenge integrated into the 90 day action plan. And I'm going to introduce a mass text messaging platform so that you can mass text your clients the weekly report, new listings, and there's all kinds of features and really cool stuff we're gonna be do, able to do with this software. So I'm really looking forward to releasing that to you as well. So get ready for 2020. It's gonna be our year, and I don't want you to let up for 2019. 2000 from now to the end of 2019 should be go time for you on pushing harder, prospecting and talking to people and building that database. This could be the slow season for you, but this is where I always win every year because I build my database now while all the other agents are sleeping. And then when the busy season comes, my database is twice as big as it was last year. So what does that mean? twice the business. So a lot of incredible stuff going on and I'm so excited for the future. Also, I'm gonna be in DC at the Hyperfast Agent Summit Monday. I'll be speaking there Monday, 11.15. I'm also gonna be doing the, the lunch and learn, I believe it is, or something like that, where I'll be with the, the guys from Lab Code Agent. So I'm really looking forward to that event. So if you're going to that event, please come up and say hello. Also, because of the birth of my firstborn child next week, we're not gonna do the Zero to Diamond talk show next week with Joe Rosen. We're gonna push that back to the week after, so just FYI. Now, let's get into these Zillow numbers, man. This was crazy day on the Zillow reporting. So, Zillow stock is up about 10%, 10, 11% today. They had better than expected numbers in terms of revenue. Let's dive into the numbers a little bit here. So. For the quarter, the company reported revenue of $745 million, okay? That was up 117% year over year, well ahead of the streets consensus at $714 million. So they were expected to do $714 million, but they did $745 million in revenue. Now, a key driver in this, you know, big jump in revenue year over year and uh, beating the streets consensus was the iBuyer business. The home segment uh, had a revenue of 384 million, okay? 
that was up from just 11 million a year ago. So it's really went to the next level. Zillow said that it sold uh, 1,211 homes and purchased 2,291 homes in the quarter, finishing with 2,822 homes on its balance sheet. It also had really good guidance moving forward. Um, they're expected to do 790 to 825 million in the fourth quarter, um, which the street was there again, um, expecting lower at 751 million. Now this is where it gets interesting. Um, the rest of the company's revenue outside of the, the iBuyer business was 335 million, which was only up 7%. So most of that 117 year over year jump was all home, the home flipping business that Zillow was in. And of course, Zillow is still losing money. Zillow posted a loss for the quarter of 64 million, including a loss of 87 million on the homes business. So great, they, they did, $384 million in revenue on the home flipping business, but within that, they lost $87 million. So I'm not saying any of this is good or bad. I'm just giving you the facts. You know, they're, they're probably smarter than I am. They have a billion dollar a year company here. Um, and also, the, the web traffic was up. Um, as far as the mobile apps and websites reached an all time high with average monthly users, unique users up 5% to 195.6 million unique users. That's a month. Website visits exceeded 2.1 billion, which is up 11% year over year. So they definitely have something. I don't know quite what it is or what they're gonna do with it, but they definitely have something there. I think the reason why, and I'm not really against Zillow, I'm for Zillow. I, I want them to succeed at the highest level because they actually can make our business, they have made my business better because my clients find properties on Zillow, they wanna see, they send me the list. I don't have to search properties and find them. The, the client finds the properties and sends them to me and then I show them the property. So it's actually cut out some of the work for me here and there. That's not for all clients. Sometimes I have to find the properties. And sometimes they go on my website and look and find the property. So it's not all Zillow. But, you know, I'm not against Zillow. Here's what I have against Zillow is selling random people's contact information to agents for hundreds of dollars. When you could have met that person at a grocery store or at the gas station, but Ricky, those people aren't motivated that Zillow is giving you hot leads, people that want to do stuff. Why does Zillow think that that person wants to do a deal? Because they were looking online at some properties? You know, everybody's looking online at properties. They're keeping up with the market. That doesn't mean they're ready to do something right now. And it's not that Zillow leads suck, okay? It's not that they suck because they don't suck. What sucks is how expensive they are, okay? You take that lead, I don't care if it is a random person in your Marcus contact information, if you nurture that, build a relationship like I teach you, then you're gonna do business. Every relationship that you put in place with the prospect in your market is worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career through repeat business referrals and referrals of referrals. So these are not, you know, these leads don't suck. It's just I can't pay hundreds of dollars for these leads. And I don't care if they are looking to possibly buy a house right this second. Every once in a while you might run into one that, that wants to buy or sell something right now. That's the same with any random list that you circle prospect for sale by owners, expires, sphere of influence, past clients, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, <laughs> get out in the market, contact people, see what you can do to help them. It's all the same stuff. It's just who's going to make the most contacts with the best intentions and then turn around and build the biggest brand based on being the hardest worker that only wants to help people. Whoever in the world in your market, whatever agent will take that philosophy and run with it and then be patient behind it is going to win. Ding, 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 me. I was never the best, I was never the smartest, the most talented, any of that stuff. I'm still not. I'm still not the best on video or at a listing appointment or any of this stuff, but here I am. 
I'm doing the best I can do and I have the best intentions and I'm willing to talk to the most people and I'm willing to, willing to build the biggest brand and I'm willing to put the work in harder than anyone else and be patient. I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on leads. People are everywhere. So anyway, I hope you guys had an incredible week. I'm so proud of you. You guys are DMing me on Instagram and telling me all about your success. It's amazing. By the way, if you have any questions, Instagram DM is the best way to get me. So feel free to reach out there and let me know what in the world I can do for you. Please comment, like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh,